Welcome to Execure tutorial. In this video I will give a basic overview of Execure Management Console. Execure Endpoint Management Console is always installed during the server installation. So on each computer where Execure server is installed there is a Management Console installed always. Management Console can be used to connect either to local or to remote server. This is a single executable file which means that we can simply copy this executable file to any other computer. Now I will show you how Execure Management Console works. Uh, we completed server installation and we have uh, Execure Console desktop icon here. When we start the Management Console we can choose to which server we want to connect. It might be a local server or remote server. And we can also specify credentials here. I will log in as a supervisor but also, Execure Management Console support role-based management and any administrator can log in here with his credentials. Inside the Management Console we can see which user is logged in to which server uh, the console is connected. In the top right corner we can change to which server we are connected. This can be done on the fly. Also, we can switch the language on the fly. So for example I can switch from English to German and you see the interface change to German or to Spanish. So all supported languages can be switched here on the fly. On the left hand side here we have a company structure. It can be created manually but uh, usually it is synchronized with existing directory services like Active Directory or Novel E Directory all DAP. So we create a replica and after that uh, administrator can effectively reuse existing structures inside the company. So he can apply policies to existing groups. So there is no need to create groups manually. Administrator can effectively reuse existing structures he already made inside the company. So we can apply policies to marketing department or sales department. We have all these groups available here. So when we open the element here it is expanded here in the top and below we have all the elements of Egosecure. So we have control, we have audit, filter, encryption. All these parameters can be applied to chosen groups of users or computers. In addition to this we have also application control, antivirus, uh, green IT and secure arrays. So all components of Egosecure they are displayed here. So we can choose the desired element which we want to configure and below we have all settings, policies, etc. Each element uh, here has its own tabs below. So for example in control section we can choose devices and ports or we can proceed to cloud storages. So there are also tabs inside each component. Rights management is the key section where we can control all the elements. In addition to this, inside product settings there are more precise settings for each element. So for control, for audit, filters, encryption, all detailed settings they are available under product settings tab. Permitted devices uh, allows to configure individual access to specific devices. Administration section allows to configure various types of parameters. In addition to this we have also installation section and reporting section where we can see how the product is working. This is the initial description of the layout of the management console. In the next videos I will show you how each component is working, how to achieve different goals with Egosecure endpoint. Thank you for watching.